My friend Alexis is about to have a baby and we're prepping for her shower. Alexis is tall and skinny, so from the front you can't tell she's pregnant until she turns to the side and she has a little basketball. <laughs> Congratulations, Alexis. Anyway, I wanted to help decorate for her shower with sort of twinkly lights, but something that had a little bit of flair and a little personalized angle to it. So I'm over the moon about this project. It's playful and whimsical, and you're gonna love it. It's so easy to make. You take a bunch of little cups, my printout from the website, and I will show you today how to make the most fanciful string of lights for Valentine's, for your sweetheart, for your bedroom, for any room that you wanna decorate. My name is Jenna, welcome to my studio. Today, let's make a fabulous string of lights. The supplies that you'll need for this project are a string of lights, some typing paper in your printer, a download from my website, some scissors, scotch tape, and some three and a half ounce little cups from the grocery store, and you're ready to go. Go to my website and print out these two sheets. It's so easy, and just print, I don't know, four of each on to typing paper and all you need to do is cut them out. We're gonna apply them to the cups, which are the perfect size template, thank you very much. And we tape them on and we're ready to go. So I'll just cut these out now and show you how to do it. Make sure that you cut on the inside of the little pencil line to show you where to go so that it doesn't show in the final product. So as you can see, I will leave that little pencil line behind when I'm cutting these out. So what you end up with are all these really fun little labels that go on the cups and then we're going to put them on the Christmas lights. So continue cutting out the wrappers. I have to share something with you. I was looking at Facebook and there was somebody posted this enormous white bunny rabbit. And all you could see was this little pink nose and this little pink tongue and it weighed 25 pounds. And it was a white Angora bunny rabbit. And I wanted it. So I told everybody for my birthday that's what I wanted. And this is what I got. So you ready? Okay, brace yourself. This is what I got. Are you shaking yet? And all you do, it's gross, but I love it. You squeeze its paw, you put on your music, and you push its paw, and it doesn't work. No, that's just the plug-in. Take two, comment mark. And he starts dancing to the music on. <laughs> it's got brand new batteries. Take three, comment mark. Ready? Here it goes. Cut, cut, cut. It's on. Come on. If you make it work, I'm gonna be so shy. No, it stopped. Bye, buddy. All right, let's go back to it. Sorry. <laughs> about this project is in the end you've created something with light and decoration 
and some cute little designs. And if you want to embellish them, you can. Let's say you took out your stampers and you wanted to write the name of the baby that's coming or the name of the mom and the dad or somehow I've made it simple enough. Of course, these ones say love, but you could write a birth date on top of this. You could write any sort of personalization that you want on it. And then you've got not only the base design that I've given you in the downloads, but you can add your own personalized touch for an even more perfect project. So now that you've made lots and lots of the little cups, now I'm going to show you how to apply them to the string of lights so that you've got a really great finished product. With a very sharp pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, what you want to do is go onto the top of the cup and then cut a V just big enough so that that little light can punch through. And stick it through, it catches on the light, and you've got the perfect string. Great project, inexpensive, decorative, personalized, I'm all over it. Do a whole bunch of these, and before you know it, it's finished. Done, easy, fabulous. If you want to make a string of these and maybe personalize them or change them up a little bit, you can easily post it to my Facebook wall, Jenna Studio, and I'll put it on Pinterest, put it on the wall. I love to see what you do with my projects, which is a little bit unique, or how they look in a room when you finish them. I really enjoy that. And if you happen to have an Angora bunny, send me one please. Make an entire string of these for the perfect accent for a party, for a room, a gift for a friend. Congratulations, Alexis. Now you've seen what I'm going to put in your house for your shower. <laughs> My name is Jenna. Thanks for joining me today. What's your green wish? Find out more at greenwish.com.